spike shield with chain. Is this like kunai with with chain? Uh, it's a normal trap card. Target one monster on the field. Equip this card to that target. It gains 500 attack. If the quest monster is a target for an attack while in defense position. It gains defense equal to its attack during damage calculation only. Alright, well that sounds kind of defensive, but hey, if the situation comes, it seems like a fairly fun card what attacks you run into, so um, I'm not sure if this card will see any play in the current format, but hey, maybe someone will find use of it. XYZ Tribal. It's a continuous trap card. Face up exceed monsters with two or more exceed materials cannot be destroyed by card effects. After damage calculation, if exceed monster you control with two or more card effects, battle an opponent's monster, destroy the, the opponent's monster. Alright, well, uh, it seems like even a pitcher, I mean, it has Sneak Magician on it, so it definitely seems like a card that you, one of the cards that you should use for that. Um, maybe you can use it with Zen Mains, I mean, its defense is pretty decent, I mean, if it has two or more materials, it can't be destroyed card effects, so, um, and that's usually how people destroy it, I mean, I don't think they attempt to run it over, um, and, uh, he battles the opponent's monster, uh, just destroy the opponent's monster, uh, after damage calculation, so, definitely, uh, this card might see, see much play, I see this play, this card probably be using a lot with, uh, Basilicock, uh, Basilicock, that card is going to be powerful, uh, definitely, if, uh, Chaos Sorcerer didn't go down to, a uh, one, this, uh, bandless, it would go next bandless, because Basilcock with Chaos Sorcerer, I mean, it's, a, it's basically a Chaos Sorcerer within itself, I mean, you remove from play one to Z materials to banish a card uh, on the field or in the graveyard, so, uh, and then it gains attack, uh, it can't, if it has enough materials, it can't be targeted, and then it can't be destroyed. Definitely, uh, uh, something to threat to deal with in the uh, next uh, format. Breakthrough Skill. Alright, I've heard about this card even before I started this. This card is getting some hype, so it's a normal trap card. Target one face of effect monster your opponent controls. Until the end phase of this turn, they gate that target's effect. During your turn, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one face of monster your opponent controls and get that target's effect during this turn. Alright, so it's a double negate. Um, people are saying that this card is going to be like the new Fiendish Chain. Um, and you know what? I could... I could see it. I could see it. As long as uh, you handle what you need to handle uh, this turn. Because, uh, you know, Fiendish Chain will sit on that card, making sure it can't attack, and its effect is negated. While well, this card, uh, you activate it, you, its effect is negated until the end of the turn. If you don't get rid of that card or get what you need to get done, hey, it gets its effect back. Uh, but it is cool that you can uh, do a double negate, so, except for the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard during your turn, and it's a good thing that says during your turn, um, you can, uh, banish this card to negate that monster's effect, so that's definitely good, um, because it kind of sucks that for effect value, you can activate it during your opponent's main phase, um, because sometimes you just want to negate on your turn, so definitely, this card is definitely good, and it's definitely going to see some play. As a Ubel user, this is probably going to be a big problem. Um, that's just double you bell kill right there, because I'll probably have turn Karna on the field, then negate it, they'll kill it, and I'll get my alter nightmare, and then they'll probably just remove some play to negate my alter nightmare effect and kill that, so with this one card they can kill both my Ubells. I mean good thing I can bring back Ubell plenty of times, but of course they can blend pl plenty of this. Um You know, fiendish chain you only hold on to one Ubell. Why while this can get me with two, so, uh, it's definitely gonna be a problem card, but I have cards to combat this, so, 
a really decent card. I see it being played in uh, plenty of decks. Jiraic Impact. It's a normal trap card. If you control a face-up dinosaur type monster with 2500 or more attack, destroy all cards on the field. Uh, this just seems like a kind of like a desperation play, maybe just to clear the field. I mean, it'd be kind of broken if they said, like, destroy all cards on your opponent's side of the field, that'd be kind of broken. But it just says destroy all cards on the field, and eh, I see it, I mean, sure, why not? Why don't you clear out all the field? I mean, Black Rose Dragon, this card, so, sure, uh, dinosaurs, let's see if you're gonna use it, and see if you're just gonna pop the field. Alright, last card of the Cosmo Blazer set. Rebuki? It's a continuous trap card. When your opponent special summons a monster, roll a six side die, and return any of those monsters whose level equals the die result to the hand. Alright, well, I'm not really afraid of that. I mean, you're rolling a six sided die and special summoning you, Bell. Um, I mean, I guess you could get Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman's six, so you got a one in six chance of sending Doom Shaman back to my uh, hand. But you Bell is ten. They're there's no 10 on a 6-sided die. Um, I you know, I don't see this card seeing much play. I mean, I, I mean, people don't even run Ordeal of the Traveler, let alone this card, so uh, I don't think they're even going to attempt it. Um, I don't see this card seeing much play. But, hey, if you want to try it, go ahead and try it out. Alright, guys. Finally, we are done with the Cosmo Laser set. I hope you guys enjoy the special, and like I said, I will be back starting straight tomorrow at 3.30 Pacific Time, p.m. Uh, Vladimir Noir Season 3, uh, new u Bell deck facing these new decks uh, in the Abyss Rising and in the Cosmo Blazer, because I know people are going to want to uh, play these cards, because I know they have Cosmo Blazer cards on Dueling Network, so I'm going to get to face those with a whole new new battle deck uh, facing new opponents so I uh, hope you guys have been waiting and anticipating because it is going down and I hope you guys enjoy once again thank you for all the support thank you for subscribing thank you for viewing my videos I put a lot of effort into them and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it so this is the last of the Cosmic Blazer set do the usual like comment subscribe and as always thanks for watching